It's the people in the Wesley that really make it the hospital that it is. We have a very collaborative and collegiate environment and that naturally translates into good patient outcomes. The Wesley is a metropolitan, not-for-profit tertiary teaching hospital. It's located in the city of Brisbane in Queensland, Australia. The Wesley offers really the latest technologies and procedures across the range of medical and surgical disciplines. The robotic program at the Wesley started in 2010 and has really uh, grown since then. We're the only uh, hospital in the country with two XI systems. We've done over 5,000 robotic urology procedures here. Most of our work's prostate cancer and prostatectomy, but we've done more than 16 different urological robotic procedures. We do cystectomies, nephroureterectomies, partial nephrectomies, nucleative prostatectomies for high volume BPH. We've got a lot of very experienced robotic urology uh, surgeons. The Centre of Excellence Accreditation has been an acknowledgement of the whole team that works together uh, to ensure really good, uh, excellent patient outcomes. We are very fortunate at the Wesley to have a group of very well-trained urologists. Many of us have done international fellowships at leading institutions and we've brought back those invaluable experiences for the benefit of patients. We've been very fortunate to have excellent collaboration with international colleagues. I'm very grateful to Professor Bocchiardi and Professor Galfano in Milan. We've been in constant communication with them. And we were very fortunate to have Professor Eden from the United Kingdom and Professor Ra from Yonsei University in South Korea come and visit us here at the Wesley. They ran Australia's first uh, Retsia Sparing Radical Prostatectomy Workshop here at the Wesley Hospital. We're introducing it in a select number of patients. And so far, the early outcomes, I must say, have been excellent. We're continuing to examine to see exactly what its place and what its role will be in prostate cancer management. Nanonife is irreversible electroporation, which is a new technology that does not involve surgery or ionizing radiation. Uh, Professor Stricker is regarded as one of the pioneers of nanonife in Australia. And uh, when we decided to proceed with the nanonife, I went to Germany and Professor Stricker's unit. When we commenced the nanonife program at the Wesley, Professor Stricker was able to send his PhD fellow to mentor us in the first dozen cases or so. So far, we have had good success uh, on the dozen patients or so that we've treated. Brachytherapy is a radiation dose intensification where we're adding extra dose to the prostate to try and improve local control of prostate cancer compared with external beam radiation treatment. We started our, our high dose rate brachytherapy program nearly 19 years ago at Wesley. We treated more than a thousand patients in, over that period of time. Our low dose rate seed brachytherapy program started over 15 years ago. We work in very close collaboration with the radiation oncologists. The urologists put the needles in the theatre and the radiation oncologists do the planning live in the operating theatre. Then we've got a robotic delivery system that delivers the radioactive seeds to the patient. There is no doubt that one of the key reasons the Wesley has been a successful hospital is through collaboration and interdisciplinary collaboration particularly with radiation oncology and radiology has been critical to provide what is the best outcomes for patients. It was through the vision and cooperation of urologists and radiologists that saw the Wesley become the first hospital in Australia to introduce MRI scanning for prostates. Uh, for the first time it's allowed radiologists and urologists to see inside the gland accurately and to be able to detect uh, significant cancers. The MRI prostate study was a direct result of working with uh, Radboud University in the Netherlands and Professor Jelly Barantz, one of the world leaders in MRI prostate imaging. MRI prostate is now almost universally available across Australia. That has uh, led to so many advances on many other levels. The Wesley Hospital is the first hospital in Australia to introduce PSMA PET scanning. Uh, we have one of the largest and most experienced MRI guided biopsy services, all having a very beneficial effect on patient outcomes. 
imaging, uh, looking at uh, nuclear imaging in particular, and then expanding that into therapy with theranostics. I think these will be the areas uh, that we will see uh, growth and development and innovation in moving forward from here. The key to success at the Wesley Hospital has been our culture and our collaboration. In doing that, we've been able to uh, learn from each other and bring back a whole host of knowledge and skills, bringing in uh, new procedures and new innovations so that they're available for our patients.